Well, these new immunotherapy drugs, we've, al we've always used, first off, we always used platinum drugs. And platinum drugs were devoted to the entire body. They couldn't be separated tumor by tumor. Now the immunotherapy drugs are designed to poison and kill individual cells, but they have their own toxicities. And the toxicities from this group are slightly different than the other. One of the things that we see a lot is uh, inflammation of the large bowel or colon. We thought it would be only in about 2% of our patients, but we're seeing it in 10%. And the key thing about this is most colitis, as we would call it, is treated with antibiotics, but not this type. This type really needs to be treated by steroids. And so it's important that we be able to separate the two as much as we can. And so that's one thing I'm talking about, or not talking about, learning. The second thing is how dangerous the um, lung disease can be. Because sometimes, that's another problem, is that these, these are side effects involving the lungs. It looks so benign. I look at the chest CT and I say, oh, there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Turns out it's very, very serious. It's the number one cause of death in these patients. And it doesn't look as serious as it is. So this requires that we really have to know which drug the patient is on to make that decision. And this requires a lot of time and organization to look that up. Also, patients are changed from drug to drug. If one fails, another one starts, and you start the whole cycle again. And so that also takes some time to sort out exactly what's going on. Right now, um, I also wanted to see what people are using as endpoints. In general, radiology is used as an endpoint. In ter not in terms of function, but in terms of appearance. So if a tumor shrinks, better, right? New sites of tumor, bad, that sort of thing. Um, and I wanted to see what specific measurements they're using. And um, I feel that within 10 years, the pie chart thing I told you about, the AI, is going to take over completely. And right now, this is drawn by hand with a single line. And that's supposed to you know, give you this good feeling about what's going on. And I don't think that's nearly adequate. So this is like a really exciting time to work in radiology because just identifying things is not good enough anymore. It's transferring the data. It's being part of the multidisciplinary team, uh, which we work on every week, and um, deciding where endpoints are going to be in the future.